just too good here, and we're in year three of LEGO Mario. Each summer they release a new electronic figure for their course building system. This summer brings us LEGO Peach. I'm curious, how does LEGO Peach work? How does it interact with Mario and Luigi? This is the Adventures with Peach starter set that releases August 1st, which is the only way to get electronic LEGO Peach. This has a total of 354 pieces and retails for $60 in the United States. We still have that strange box shape going on with these starter sets. But let's open up this box and see what's inside because I am really curious with how that peach works. <laughs> we got loads of loose bags. Instructions just for startup, but the actual instructions are still regulated to the app. And it looks like our peach parts are in this box for the electronic components. Let's see how this looks. I haven't even seen the figure. Oh! <laughs> that is the creepiest of the bunch. What the heck? <laughs> this is like a demon looking into your eyes. Oh my gosh. I, I can't, like, look, look at Lego Mario turned off. I mean, this already looks creepy, but Peach. <laughs> This is like a specter. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it seems like this has the same uh, trouser or overalls design in terms of how you could fit uh, bottom pieces on. So let's see. Look at that. Yeah, it snaps into place. So the dress piece should work the same way. And this dress piece, let's see, slides onto Peach. I'm impressed. I didn't think it would be that smooth. Wow. And the dress piece, if you're curious how it looks on uh, Lego Mario. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyways, each of these electronic figures do not come with the batteries needed for them, nor the screwdriver needed to open them up. So I have these at the side right here. We have our space for two AAA batteries, again, not included with the set itself, just like the screwdriver isn't included with the set itself. Put those bad boys in and turn her on by pressing that power button. Lego beach time. <laughs> Lego beach time. See you later. Okay, that's really cool. Interesting. Uh, LCD display we have going on here, whatever the heck the display is. It looks a little bit weird because the eyes, I don't know, Peach's eyes are just ones I guess we're not super familiar with in terms of Mario eyes. I, it just looks a little bit off. I can't even explain why. Anyways, if you put the dress on, it conceals some of those bottom parts. And voila, we have Lego Peach, which to dress at the back, you can see how that looks. And also, oh, Mario needs to go to sleep. We need to find the crown. Oh, there's the crown. Because they made a new crown piece to put atop of Peach. And then also, Peach's earrings, which are these one by one tile pieces. There you go. And now Lego Peach is complete. This actually looks way better all built up compared to the demonic turned off raw version just straight out of the box. And what I'm figuring out is that Lego Peach works just like Lego Mario and Lego Luigi. You could swap out those trousers, or I guess overalls would be the right word. She doesn't react to say Mario and Luigi's overalls, but if you put the previous power-ups that have appeared in this course building system, they work just like they would work on the other characters, which is perfect. And of course, you could swap out the caps at the top as well. <laughs> this is a total mishmash of outfits for Peach. And with the arms right here, these use a Lego minifigure attachment. <laughs> and we have a round base arm there. I could see people messing around with this and maybe making some interesting minifigures. And just as an example, very interesting on Widowmaker. I was just looking for a minifigure with this pink or at least a similar pink on the actual character itself. Look at how the arms move, which are a bit loose. Of course, these are made for much bigger figures. 
but uh, pretty interesting and I can't wait to see what minifigure customizers do with these pieces. For some more minor details I wanted to point out, the dress is different from front and back. You can see how the back is fitted for those specific buttons and the crown at the top does have one stud. Of course that crown connects with those four studs. And putting the crown on Mario, King Mario low-key looks kind of dope. And while the instructions for the sets are found in the app, and you have to connect to the app to have Luigi and Mario connect to Peach, since they require an update, technically you don't need an app or a smartphone to play with Peach right out of the box, so that's pretty neat at least. And you can have these figures connect to each other by pressing this Bluetooth button at the back. This is also how they connect to the Lego Mario app. Press two of them. Hello, Peach. Hi, Luigi. And you have a two player adventure. And when you have two players connected, if you have them high five like that. Oh, come on, why isn't it working? High five like, there you go. You get a tag team bonus, which is a lot of fun. Now, if you're wondering if you connect a third figure, the answer is unfortunately, no, you can't have three players, which that really bums me out. I want to have some three player adventures. What if you're curious how Lego Mario and Peach connect? And don't worry, in a few weeks I'll answer the connection, or sorry, the question of what happens if you connect two peaches together. Also notice how there's a heart at the middle of Peach's hair. That's kind of a clever design. In all three of the starter sets, the start tile is in this pipe piece. And this is a two by two tile, and you'll see these a lot where we call them action bricks or action tiles, where the sticker is applied at a factory level. And the reader at the bottom of the Lego Mario, Peach, and Luigi figures reads it just like this. And that's how it activates the level. And basically, you have 60 seconds to get to the end goal. Levels are completed by reaching a 2x2 two two action tile at the end, which has a goal design. This is also found in those other starter sets. And once you reach the end, you'll get a certain coin count appearing, which depends on how much you traversed and how many enemies you defeated during this time. And enemies have an action tag at the back, which by making the characters jump on, you get a range of coins, usually lower enemies like this. A little lava bubble will give you one coin. There's items like this set introduces a fruit piece, which is new for summer 2022 Lego Mario course builder sets. It's found in like some other sets like the Yoshi house. This design basically when Peach, Mario, or Luigi read that action tile, if you move them up and down, like they're eating it, depending on how fast they finish it, you get a certain amount of coins. And if you're curious how it works when you have two of them connected and you want to start a level, It starts level when you put one of them at the start tile. And then it will give them a 10 second timer to finish the level. And your coin count at the end is shared between the two. And to show more of the figure's interaction with the action tiles of the set, a lot of sets include a mystery block and how this action tile works is that the figure reads it at the top and then it will give them one of six potential rewards. In this case, Peach got a star, which is an instant kill for any enemy that she jumps on. I also like how the winged design is used this time around just to change stuff up from the usual floating block that's found in these starter sets. I like the use of those Koopa wing pieces at the back. Next action tile is within this present, and I don't know, I don't really like the function of this action tile. Well, for this present build, I really like the build at the top for the bow. I really like how that's clipped on. It's an interesting build design. And then we have this Technic beam at the back. So you get one of the figures, press on that Technic beam, knock off the top, and then the present is inside. And basically how this present works, you have your figure at the top, and when they read the present, if they have the fruit on them, 
the fruit is put into the present. And then if the present is read one more time, they get the present. And it's just such a weird idea for solo play, but I guess it comes into play when you have them linked up. Because if you put the fruit inside the present and they are Bluetooth connected, if the second player gets a present, it's actually really nice to hear that. That was the Mario 3, like, when you beat a world, right? When they, you get to the next world. <laughs> I didn't expect that sound effect. But that's how you share the presence between the two. So it's something that's more for two-player mode than one-player mode, because it's just kind of weird in one-player mode. The next action tile is this 2x2 two two on the swing. This design uses the same music that's found in some other action tiles from other sets. <laughs> yeah, that theme's kind of overused at this point. They use it for what, like the airship? They also used it for, was it the cloud set? Regardless, you could swing Lego Mario, Luigi, or Peach back and forth and collect coins. But if they fall off, they get knocked out, which is kind of fun. You could actually knock out the characters like that with certain actions. And if they get knocked out, you can't collect coins for the time period they're knocked out. If they get knocked out, that time she did not get knocked out. Let's see. There you go. So when there's just swirling eyes, no coins for that period. Regardless, the rest of the swing build, I quite like. I like how the treetops are kind of rounded there. It's this tree design that they kind of continue with the Yoshi's house set from this wave. I like those rounded treetops. This set also gives us our first yellow toad. It's really cool to get that top in yellow. This design is built just like the other toads where you have a slanted piece at the top there that kind of positions it in place. You also have the use of the shoes that they also use for Goombas. This is the walking design with one foot forward. And you have a printed two by two brick as well as a printed two by two circular brick with those holes at the side. And he just rests on this platform right here. And there's a two by two action tile and get Lego Mario, Luigi or Peach to step on it. And you'll get some extra coins. <laughs> Finally, for the action tiles, the set gives us Lemmy Koopa for the first time. This is a really fun design to capture. I love how they did the hair in particular with the different colors there. This is a design that is clipped on, so if you want, you could even move the hair back. <laughs> Regardless, at the front has this crazy two by two uh, round oval piece that they introduced with the Mario line. Love the look there paired with the one by two brick of the crazy eyes right there. Two by two print that has appeared in other sets from my understanding. Interesting staff build right there. And then at the back, we have the action tile. And the action tile, when you have Mario, Luigi, or Peach, requires one, two, three, four, five, six stomps to defeat Lemmy. Or if you have the star, that's just one stomp. And I like the tower build for Lemmy, where it's a white tower. We don't usually see white towers in the Lego Mario setup. And it's a very easy to knock over display for Lemmy because they have no brick at the back. So you just go like, <laughs> that's so much fun. And of course, bam. <laughs> and like the other starter sets, Lego takes a more hands-off approach with how you arrange the setup. Of course, the front of the box and the instructions will show this at the front in the arrangement. But the online app instructions don't show you how to connect these all together. It basically says, well, do it yourself. They give you this seventh bag of the plates to kind of connect it all together to your own liking. But you can see each of these separate builds on just their own separate accord. Again, we've covered some of these already, like the swing and the mystery block and the tube. We have the present to the back right here. It's a little bit annoying when they just give like loose ones like uh, these right here and they give like three of those and don't really tell you where to put them. But of course you could just kind of put those at whatever grass place 
it does require some imagination, which with Lego, that's a granted. And at the very back, we have the platform. But I just want to show all of you guys this because I'm going to make my own level with this arrangement here. All right, so here is the level I have set up. Let's take a look at the builds that we still have left over. There's an interesting tea table included in the set, which I like the use of these one by ones to kind of have like a tablecloth. That's cute. And then over here, we have this platform for the lava bubble, where if you take Mario, Luigi, or Peach and push this part at the back, much like say the present surprise, it will launch the lava bubble. So let's try that one time. Oh, come on. Why do I always miss the little switch activation things? Let's try it. There you go. That one flew across the room. And then there's this platform for the lava bubble, which is a play feature similar to the present, where there's this big piece at the back here. And basically having Peach step on there or Mario and Luigi will launch the lava bubble. Let's give it one good hit. Oh, shoot. Just bounce against my hand, but you get the point. And the set includes two platforms with those orange mushroom builds, which I was like, they keep using orange as the color, and I'm like, oh wait, they can't use red because it would activate lava with the figures. And if you're not familiar with the other starter sets, yes, that flag is a print. I love that print. All right, well, let's give my course a go. <laughs> okay, 60 seconds, let's see. I should give him more walking room here because I'm like not even walking on the course at this point. But uh, let's see what mystery block reward I get. Okay, just some coins. That's, that's not too bad. Let me jump right over here. Oh, I should have reset the lava bubble. <laughs> that guy flew across the room. Let's try the swing set. Oh no. Dang it, knocked out. So I can't collect coins for this small period. Okay, let me get this present reward. And still broken. <laughs> let me talk to Toad. Okay, got some extra coins. Oh, shoot. Knock over Lemmy. No! And if you guys are wondering if you run out of time, well, there's not really losing to this game. <laughs> Instead, it just ends the level early, and you get the coins that you had. <laughs> and after you beat each level, they show the coin count regardless, which it's kind of how you could keep track of your high scores and everything there. You can see if you don't do anything within the level, of course you're going to have zero coins. But I think that's it for my own custom course, a look at the Peach figure. Let's move on to the packaging and then the final verdict. We already took a look at the box at the beginning of the video, but the quick start guide, again, isn't an instructions for how to build the set, just really how to set it up on your app. Just kind of the quick start there. And their reasoning for not including like instructions with these sets is because they said all the actions with the figures would be too hard to show, though I think that picture does a pretty good job at explaining things. Regardless, interesting new ads for these waves with uh, the summer wave of sets, the starter sets being the only ones uh, outside the wave being shown. And then you even have an ad with the new character boxes. Regardless, that's it for the quick start guide. There's also a strange ad, which just shows that Lego is switching to paper packaging. I just love these little foldouts. It kind of reminds me of an old 90s set where they would have a small Lego poster. So Adventures with Peach. How do I feel about this set? Well, in terms of the other starter sets, I will say it's more of the same for value, where you're getting really a high price set for a figure. You're not getting it for the rest of the builds because the rest of the builds don't feel so substantial. Compared to the other ones, it's on the same level there. I will say getting Lemmy this time around is a nice way to get people who don't, I guess, care for Peach and want just a coupling in. So that's a nice exclusive character. The Toad is fine and the Lava Bubble is, you know, overdone at this point. But hey, it's a nice switch up from, say, including a Goomba in these starter sets. 
At the end of the day, though, there's not much of a difference between Peach and the other Mario figures, which is a pro and con. On one hand, it's a pro because it means you could have any of them and have these same course building adventures, and they have a lot of versatility with a shared collection of outfits to put on. But it's a con because I was maybe hoping for something a little bit different this time around. At the end of the day, though, with these three characters, it makes sense for them to be essentially the same as these are playable characters in the Mario universe. And while they have added power-ups there, like Peach's Levitation or Luigi's Long Jump, you could replicate those in the course building system with your imagination as they're not needed for the electronic components. And of course, the course building system is very hands-on where you could play it as you want. If you want to play it for time, if you want to play it for coins, you judge it based on your own really motive on what you want to get out of it. Though, of course, it's focused on play less than display. So as a whole, the course building system is aimed more towards kids and it attracts much more kids than adult fans like myself. At the end of the day, though, I love pushing these electronic characters to their limits, so I'm sure I'll have some fun messing around with pieces in the future with Lego Peach and connecting various Lego Peaches. So I am satisfied in this department, but I am getting pretty tired of this course building system as a whole. And you guys know what I want more than this course building system. And I feel like this Peach starter set isn't enough of a fresh reinvention to really bring more life into my interest of the course building system personally. But with all things considered, I still think this is a good set for that $60 price if you're looking for this pretty darn detailed electronic figure. Like, I really like the design this time around. Little details like the heart at the front, the versatility of those arms being able to attach to minifigures, which is really nice. With all things considered, I'd rate this set a 6 out of 10, where I definitely like it more than I dislike it. Though I am losing more and more interest in this course building system, and I really wish this was a little bit different from those other starter sets. Regardless, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys are going to buy this, if you guys are excited, seems like my Mario might be running out of battery. <laughs> Regardless, subscribe for more LEGO news and commentary, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.